Hello, it's Alex, the Bookubus. Today I'm going to be sharing a book haul and it's it's a pretty big one, not gonna lie. Uh, there's no beating around the bush here. I thought I had about 50 books and I was like, that's quite a bit. Turns out it's over 60, it's almost 70. And I was considering splitting this into two videos, but I was like, you know what? We're just gonna do it in one go and we're just gonna see what happens. So I'm not sure how long this video is gonna pan out to be, so I'll try and be somewhat brief with the books rather than going into too much detail. But yes, I'm already wasting valuable book time here, so let's do this. Okay, so some of these are ones I have bought myself either in thrift stores or online. And then a lot of these are ones that I received as gifts from various lovely people. So yeah, that's why I've kind of accumulated quite a lot recently because people are so awesome and kind and generous and have sent me books, which is amazing. So, okay, let's kick this off with Sandman by William W. Johnstone. This is one that my husband gave me for Christmas and yeah, it's a zebra title and this cover is amazing in so many ways. He also got me this one, Children of Darkness by Andrew Fisher and K.S. Salikoff. Creepy children is always a good time. And he got me The Sisterhood by Florence Stevenson, which also has an absolutely rad cover. My sister got me a few books also for Christmas. This is House of Thunder by Lee Nichols, also known as Dean Kuntz. And this one has a cool inner artwork. She also got me this, H.P. Lovecraft Omnibus 2, Dagon, or Dagon, I'm never sure how you pronounce that, and other macabre tales. This one's a bit of a, a chunky one, so yeah, gnarly artwork, which is very, very cool. And she got me this really awesome one, Encyclopedia Horrifica by Joshua G, or G. And I don't know if it's going to show up, but it has like a holographic cover. So it's not really doing a good job, but you can see there's something going on there. Anyway, this looks super fun and it has loads of really interesting things about all things horror and creepy and weird. So yeah, this is very, very cool. I'm excited to dive into that one a bit more when I get a chance. Next up are some books that were sent my way from two fellow booktube friends, Merce from Harpers in the Trees and Marie McWilliams. So I had made them ghost doilies like the one I've had in previous videos and honestly I'm not sure where mine has got to. <laughs> I think I put it somewhere safe and now I don't remember where that safe place was, or it got hidden away with the Halloween decorations. So anyway, that's why I've got the spider web <laughs> background instead. But I made doilies for them, and they very kindly sent me some goodies in return. So Merce sent me a really awesome box full of really cool horror-related goodies, and one of the things was this book, The Coffin Path by Catherine Clements. It's a ghost story and I love ghost stories, so I'm very much looking forward to this one. And one of the other things she sent along is this that she made herself. I hope this is going to bring it up on camera and do it justice. But it is like a tombstone. It says the bookubus and it's got a skull and candles a snake and a tiny little book and it's just yeah so creative and unique and 
I'm very thankful to have such cool people in my life. And Marie sent me some really awesome vintage horror books. All Hallows Eve by Richard Lehman. Just one human being will give you at least eight pints of blood. That one should be fun. The Jonah by James Herbert. Deadhead by Sean Hudson, which I'm actually planning on reading soon. And another Sean Hudson, Relics, which has a pretty badass cover. So yes, thank you so much to those lovely ladies for sending awesome things my way. Next up are some new books and these were sent to me by my friend Laurie. She bought these from my Amazon wishlist. We've got The Changeling by Victor Laval and Within These Walls by Anya Albon. Very excited to read both of these. So thank you so much, Laurie, for sending these my way. It was super kind of you. And I received another Amazon package from Oma. These are She Said Destroy, a short story collection by Nadia Bulkin, and The Seventh Mansion by Marisa Mayer. Major. Apologies if mispronounced. Uh, again, very excited to have these, really looking forward to reading them and yeah, thank you so much for your generosity. It was yeah, just a really lovely surprise to receive these one day on my way home from work and yeah, see these waiting for me. <laughs> so thank you so much. I was sent this one, Mina and the Undead by Amy McCaw, from the author. She also has a booktube channel which I will leave a link to, you should definitely go check that out if you haven't already. And this is her YA vampire novel that came out I believe last year and yeah, it sounds like just my cup of tea. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this one. And I also recently received an arc of Spontaneous Human Combustion by Richard Thomas. This is a short story collection of his which comes out sometime this month so I'm gonna be reading this one soon and we'll yeah get back to you with my thoughts on it. Next up is a big stack of vintage YA books that were kindly sent to me by my friend Aaron who we met through Instagram he is super talented, he's an artist, he's a musician, yes I am envious <laughs> of his talents and he got in touch with me to say he had a bunch of Fear Street books etc and yeah was just super amazing and sent them to me so thank you so much Aaron and yeah we've got some R.L. Stein, we've got The Babysitter, The Babysitter 2 and The Babysitter 3 I do have the point horror versions of these but it's really cool to have the US editions, the artwork is so different and yeah, they're amazing. We also have The Dead Girlfriend by R.L. Stein, and then we have a bunch of Fear Street books, so we've got Cheerleaders, The Second Evil, Lights Out, Missing, The New Boy, He Was a Hunk of Trouble, okay, One Evil Summer, The Prom Queen. That cover is so cool. Silent Night, which I actually read around Christmas time and it was really fun. The Sleepwalker, another super cool cover. Well, they all are, let's face it. Sunburn, I'll probably be saving this one for summertime. 
and the Thrill Club, which also has a really awesome cover. And one last one, this is from the Scream series. It's My True Love Gave to Me by Eric Weiner. And I also read this one uh, back around Christmas time and it was really, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. So yeah, looking forward to tracking down some more Scream books or some Eric Weiner <laughs> sometime. And as if that wasn't enough, he also sent me a piece of his original artwork. I mean, just look at this guy. It's amazing. The detail is incredible. And yeah, I'll leave a link to his Instagram if you want to go check him out because he does cool stuff like this all the time. And yeah, this piece is just, I love it so much. So yeah, I still need to get this framed, but it's so cool. Okay, so that's it for the gifts. I am, um, yeah, so touched that anyone <laughs> would send me a gift of books. So I'm, um, yeah, very grateful to the people that have. And the rest of the haul are books that I have bought myself because obviously I needed more. Um, so this one is The Demonologist by Gerald Brittle, which I found in a thrift store. Uh, it's about Ed and Lorraine Warren and yeah I think they're a somewhat controversial couple but either way couldn't resist this amazing cover. I found a couple of Christopher Pikes, I got The Eternal Enemy and The Last Vampire Collector's Edition Volume 1 which includes I think it's one, two, and three. Oh yeah, says it right there on the cover, that's handy. So yeah, really pleased to have found those. Dawn of the Vampire by William Hill. And this one is a very shiny metallic cover. Sorry if I just blinded you all. But yeah, there's like a creepy vampire dude in a lake. If you can make that out. <laughs> I found a zebra gothic romance. This is Lost Ladies of the Windswept Moor by Beverly C. Warren. And the tagline is, he was like the moor itself. Unpredictable, <laughs> moody, and dangerous. It's even got little doggies on the cover as well. So definitely gonna have to check that out sometime. I found this one. Secret of Haunted Mesa and a Young Adult Mystery by Phyllis A. Whitney, which looked quite interesting. A non-fiction book, this is Historic Haunted America by Michael Norman and Beth Scott. So, tales of murder, sex, madness and revenge. Um, in fact, I'm assuming it's non-fiction. Oh yeah, it is non-fiction. Okay, I was suddenly thought I got the wrong end of the stick there. But eyewitness accounts of North American hauntings. And I found one hardback book, which is When the Wind Blows by John Saul. I've been meaning to pick up one of the handful of books I already have of his on my shelves. I was yeah, somewhat determined to read one by the end of last year and I didn't, so it has to happen this year. Okay, and then last up is a bunch more vintage YA that I treated myself to because my friend Kathy over on Instagram was getting rid of some of her books and I literally pounced on them. I haven't grabbed my credit card so fast and got to my laptop <laughs> in lightning speed but one of the things I bought was a bunch of the Twilight series which came out in the 80s. It's a series I've been wanting to track down for quite some time but they can be hard to come by so yeah the fact that I was able to get so many of them in one go was really amazing. So. Let's go through these. This is The Initiation by Robert Brunn. They all have amazing artwork, of course. 
Play to Live by Charles Vealy. Blood Red Roses by Sarah Armstrong. Particularly excited about this one. Demon Tree by Colin Daniel. The Avenging Spirit by E. Stevenson. Nightmare Lake by Carl Lehman. Yes, that is one of Richard Lehman's pen names, so that should be an interesting one. The Twisted Room by Janet Patton Smith. And I've already read this one and it was really, really good. I enjoyed it quite a bit, so hopefully the rest of the books in the series will be good too. Vicious Circle by Imogen Howe. Footprints of the Dead by Jay Callahan. Drawing the Dead by Neil R. Selden. Storm Child by Susan Netter. Watery Grave by Joseph Trainer. Dance of Death by Lou Cassim. Family Crypt by Joseph Trainer. Evil on the Bayou by Richie Tankersley Cusick. I've read a good handful of her books and enjoy them, so looking forward to that one. The Haunted Dollhouse by Susan Blake. Another amazing cover. The Warning by Amanda Byron. Is it a warning about the spider in her locker or about her perm? I'll have to read and find out. Amulet of Doom by Bruce Koval. And A Deadly Rhyme by Gloria Gonzalez. So I still have a few in the series to get, but yeah, thank you so much, Kathy, for yeah, letting me buy your books. <laughs> and I bought these from her through Pango Books, which I wasn't familiar with, but it's a place yeah, where you can buy and sell books. So yeah, I'm not affiliated <laughs> with them, obviously, but I recommend checking them out. And then the other stack of books I bought from there from Kathy were some of the Dark Forces series, which I already have, I think, two of. Um, and now, obviously, <laughs> my collection has increased quite drastically. So that was really exciting. This The Dark Forces series is another YA horror series from the 80s. This is one of my favourite covers. The Bargain by Rex Sparga. Unnatural Talent by Les Logan. Swamp Witch by Laurie Bridges and Paul Alexander. The Companion by Scott Siegel. Eyes of the Tarot by Bruce Koval. The Ashton Horror by Laurie Bridges. Love that cover. The Curse by Larry Weinberg. Bloodsport by R.C. Scott. And last but not least, the Charming by Jane Polkavar. I need to know what is going on with that giant cat. So that was a lot of books. <laughs> I know I kind of whizzed through these, but hopefully it was still fun to see the books I've recently acquired. And yeah, thank you to anyone who has sent books my way. That's crazy, but you're amazing. And 
yeah, I found myself some really good finds too. So it's been a good, good month or two for books. <laughs> Do let me know if you have read any of these books, if you think there are any I should pick up sooner rather than later. I'm excited to read them all, but yeah, as you know, there's only so many hours in the day, so it's going to take me a while to get through them, but I do my best. Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!